you know, the main kind of learning from this whole journey is the body heals itself, you know, and, Absolutely. and this is, and this is the biggest piece of knowledge I can give anyone. And, you know, fear only exists due to a lack of knowledge. So if you're scared, it's because you don't understand something, you know, it doesn't matter what it is, you know, like if you're yes. scared of the dark, it's because you can't see, you know, and then as soon as the light yeah. turns on, you're not scared anymore because the knowledge is there of what your surrounding is like. So with your, with your IBD, uh, fear about IBD exists because of a lack of knowledge about what's happening in the body. And if we can teach people what is happening in the body, then the fear goes away and you can relax. And, and as you said, you know, you don't get scared when you see some of the symptoms and you can allow your body to heal itself. And that's the biggest learning from this, from this whole experience. Give this video a thumbs up if you know what it's like to live with IBD and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. This channel is designed to help people recover from colitis, Crohn's and any other form of IBD. You can always head to our website highcarbhealth.com for a free 30 minute consultation from anywhere in the world. And remember, there is a life after colitis. I totally agree with that. Uh, I have lived in that fear for 8 years, so I can totally understand that and that developing that mind shift that this is curable mm. and mm. whatever you used to believe was due to to your point it was due to lack of knowledge right yes and medical community i don't think they know anything about this disease i mean i have stopped mm. believing believing in this term called autoimmune yes. there is nothing like autoimmune like just look at nature, how wonderfully nature has designed our body. How can it make mm. such a fundamental mistake there where your immune system starts mm. attacking yourself? I mean, mm-hmm. first time in 2011 when, when my doctor told me, I'm like, what? My immune system <laughs> is attacking myself, my own uh, like organ? Like, how? Mm. Like, why? I mean, I mean, yeah, I did uh, not understand. But then I started believing in them. Yeah. And after going through this, alternate journey i mean i've realized that whatever nature is doing is for good it's just that Mm. we have we don't have that knowledge and Mm -hmm. and part of the misinformation and knowledge is of is fueled by the vested interest of uh like the pharma companies and all that society has created uh, so many doubts and biases in our brain for example living vegan itself Mm. like the the moment I tell someone that I'm vegan, they ask me, okay, where do you get your protein from? Like, that's like a standard question that everyone asks me. I've stopped discussing with people on that uh, because yeah. society has a brainwashed them so much. They, they yeah. don't want to take that step. And I was in yeah. the same boat. I yeah. was like, oh, where am I going to get my protein from? And is this vegan? Although I was a vegetarian all my life, yeah. still I had doubts. So yeah. forget the person who is eating meat for yeah. their entire life. Forget yeah. it. They will probably not uh, accept uh, to uh, walk on this on this path, right? Yeah. And I feel like I, ve- I I feel very like I, f- I feel very sad that uh, there is just too much misinformation in the world, and yeah. there is a clear way of curing this disease. I mean, I can say for surety that this is the way to cure colitis. And mm. every, anyone who has it, I would highly suggest that you try this and uh, maybe try with some kind of support like, like high carb health because mm. that way you will be solid. Because this, this journey will be, it will take time. It's not mm. a quick fix, mm. right? And that's the same thing, Shukul, I remember you told me that mm. I, I asked this question, okay, how much time is it going to take? <laughs> and you did not respond. You, you did not tell me it's going to be five weeks or two months. You said like depends because it really depends on your body. It might be mm-hmm. four weeks. It might be 10 weeks. It might be six months mm-hmm. or a year. Who knows? Mm. So that is very important. Having patience and mm. sticking to the, the this path is very important because Mm. One of the things that happened with me, and I think it happens with most of the people, is uh, after getting onto the diet, after a few weeks, your symptoms will get worse. Yeah. After two weeks that I was on my diet, my mm. symptoms actually worsened. I was going mm. to the bathroom mm-hmm. five day, five times a day. It mm. increased ten times. Mm-hmm. So then, even if you have little doubt, it will kind of 
you know it will it will make that doubt stronger you'll be like oh is it really working or is it making it worse but then it's good that i continued on that and thanks mm. for all of your support that i mm. stick to this path and mm. i think it was six or seven seventh week seventh or eighth week that i started noticing improvement yeah yeah and i think uh, so importantly this is a very important topic i think i want to just dig deeper into this topic because this is the you know understanding the detoxification is one of the hardest things for people to get their minds around that okay so i'm going to eat healthier and i'm going to see an increase in my symptoms for a period of time before it gets better so talk about you know how that felt for you but also talk about the symptoms that you experienced um and how they got better over time okay so i started doing this diet and after two i think two weeks yeah i was doing vegan healing diet mm. so like strictly okay yeah. and um after two weeks uh I, at that time i was going through a flare i was getting blurred going to bathroom four mm. to five times uh I, gradually the frequency increased so five times become six times seven times and at peak it was 10 times uh 10 times in a day mm. another symptoms i felt was i never used to get up during night but now i had mm. to i i i woke up in the night i had to go mm. to bathroom mm. my stomach cramping also increased and also like i started seeing some black like some stuff coming out of my stools as if my colon is being cleans you know like mm, if you have mm. uh, like pipe which hasn't if you have hasn't been cleaned in years mm, and you mm. just put like a lot of force of water to get all that dirt out of it i almost started seeing those kind of that that material into my stools mm, and mm. i kind of i realized that this is detoxification i just need to stay with it uh one other thing i did was i i uh, took a uh, medical leave from my job so i was resting resting is also very important um i would rest i would take sunlight uh i would uh-huh. just uh, eat my fruits and just kind of follow your instinct you know like there is no no one fixed way okay uh-huh. so uh-huh. i would just rely on the signals that my body would give and uh the detoxification continued for a few weeks so i think it it this this thing continued for about 4 or 5 weeks then at the end of like my 7th week into this journey after starting my diet uh my frequency started reducing so from 10 t- it was initially it was a very gradual improvement so from mm. 10 times i would go like 9 or 8 times mm. and it was kind of hard to even judge whether you are making an improvement so i used mm. to have this uh, google sheet where i literally <laughs> daily symptom i would not down my daily symptom okay how many times i'm going whether i'm seeing blood yes uh, mucus yes so i would have those yes no columns in the sheet mm. Mm. and um when you look at the data from your la- last few days you can kind of clearly see the trend Mm-hmm. although it is very small but you can see mm-hmm. the trend of improvement mm-hmm. uh then uh i think after a few days uh what happened is it went down from less than 9 or 8 times to 6 times a day and after that actually started improving rapidly mm-hmm. so like from 6 times it just fall down to like 4 times 3 times to then mm-hmm. after the curve mo- become more like like a rapid improvement mm-hmm. so initially it was slower but then later on it was rapid and uh, i think after two and a half months the blood completely stopped and that was mm. that was the moment <laughs> i knew that this is working 100% uh, mm. i have been bleeding so much that even not seeing a blood although i had some other symptoms like i would get a gas and my mm. you know but but just just the fact that i stopped seeing blood gave me a big relief and mm. after after that uh for few months i mean i would be very um you know because one of the things that will happen is once your symptoms are okay you want to jump to those uh, post healing uh foods quickly because you have been kind of restricting yourself for such a long time uh-huh. Uh-huh. and that's when again that's another thing where your support uh helps where you would keep a health diary and you would uh, ask me to gradually 
uh, introduce new things, right? So one mm. week we'll be introducing, let's say, uh, tomatoes or berries and then mm. grains a mm. little bit. So that kind of gradual transition is very, very important. You don't want to just jump onto those things because you might, you know, go like five step back 